What is up guys? It's your boy here, Jersey Flex, back with another great video. In today's video, as you could tell by the title, we're going to be talking about RAD 140, RAD 140, test alone, whatever the hell you want to refer to it as. Probably my favorite SARM that's out there that I've taken. And in this video today, I'm going to kind of expose to you guys what you could expect to feel when you take rad 140 the gains that you can expect my personal experience what it felt like to be on rad 140 and again i'm not promoting the usage of rad 140 so please consult your doctor and only use rad 140 for the testing of your rats so they could run faster and their little spinning wheel and shit. don't freaking take it because it's illegal for human consumption um don't be stupid like i was uh, I, I mean, whatever. Go hit that subscribe button. Thank you for uh, tuning into this channel. I appreciate all the love and support that you guys give this channel for helping it grow. And without further ado, let's roll that freaking intro and get this video started. Boom. Maybe it's a new beginning. Maybe it's the start of where it ends. I know, I know. There's no going back and I'm loving, now, I'm loving the change. Welcome back to the video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that little intro that I made for you guys. Uh, before we start getting all juicy and talking about all the gains that can potentially be made by Rad140 and how it'll put you in total god mode in my opinion, um, please note that in the intro I put a little medical disclaimer basically letting you guys know that I'm not your doctor, I'm a gym bro. Uh, I don't wear a stethoscope around my neck, I wear a gold chain. so. Uh, this video is strictly made for entertainment purposes only and for educational purposes only for all you people out there that want to learn about Rad 140. Ooh, so let's begin talking about how sexy and handsome Rad 140 uh, makes you feel and how great I personally felt on it. Uh, I do want to give a little bit of note that some people have been posting on like Reddit forums and other reviews online about Rad 140 saying that it produces some sort of like vision impairment. Uh, one thing that you guys have to be, uh, you know, aware of is that it's a research compound. So a lot of these companies, they'll find loopholes and different ways of selling it, different ways of making it. No one company is gonna have the same Rad 140 that the other company has. So these small altercations in the chemical structure might produce some vision impairment. Just, you know, be aware of that. Um, I took Rad 140 from Immortal Stack uh, from a, um, SARM series a uh, little blend that they had and whoa let's just say rad 140 kind of just opened my eyes to how amazing the SARM is and I don't want to preach so much on it because I don't want to influence anybody to try this at home again this video is for educational and um, you know entertainment purposes only but per you know it made me feel great uh, I'm not gonna lie uh, it definitely does everything that uh, it's expected to do and you got to keep in mind that rad 140 was designed to replace testosterone replacement therapy for uh, its oral bioavailability because testosterone is only available uh, in injectable form so it was kind of a way to um, bypass that is to create something that had oral bioavailability that'll give you uh, all the great effects of testosterone without any of the androgenic side effects. But we later learned that Rad140 can produce things like hair loss, acne, and all those things even though there's no aromatization. Uh, one thing that you guys gotta keep in mind that steroids are SARMs, you know, uh, steroidal SARMs. They're selective in nature and selective in tissue building. And I know more plates, more dates speaks to all you guys about this that uh, a steroid is a selective androgen. You know, it's it's going to selectively build tissue. So just because something is in specific classified as a SARM doesn't mean that steroids are not SARMs as well. You know, Tren on paper, everything about Tren classifies it as a SARM. So 
don't think that by taking SARMs you're uh, evading all these side effects because these side effects are real. You know, you will experience side effects whether it's RAD140, Osterine, or any other SARM. So I just want to throw that out there as food for thought. But uh, let's kind of bring things back to the main topic, which is how it made me feel. I felt like a freaking shit brick house, bro. Like, I'll be honest, uh, my muscles felt full glycogen loaded. It didn't make me feel dry in any sense. It did make me feel a little bit leaner, like I was able to eat a little bit more food. There was a better nutrient partitioning that occurred, so I was able to build more muscle uh, and stay a little bit leaner because, you know, the way that it kept me lean was probably indirect because the fact that my muscles were fuller full of glycogen and water store and mineral retention um, having more muscle tissue you know is going to burn more calories and indirectly that's going to make you leaner uh, rad 140 also made me a lot hungrier as well probably because my body wanted to grow so there was the desire to consume more nutrients uh, but i definitely felt hungry i felt great sex drive and libido felt great uh, can't really say much much bad things about the compound but everybody's different so please be aware of that and anybody considering to to take this compound also be considerate of the fact that there is liver toxicity that exists with this compound so don't think that you could just take it and avoid uh, taking care of your liver and overall health so please guys make sure you take your milk thistle your tudka drink a gallon of water every day and as far as dosing goes i was taking one full milliliter because uh, it was in a dropper sublingual form uh, 20 milligrams was what i was taking at the time and dude i just freaking blew up i mean the strength was was just awesome i felt great uh, and this was before uh, introducing any other compounds. I didn't run testosterone with it. I didn't run anything alongside with it. It was just RAD 140 alone by itself. And it felt absolutely great. Uh, towards the end of it, I introduced a little bit of DHEA just because, you know, I was just curious how the two would mix. DHEA has always made me feel good, full of energy and in a bright mood. Felt great. I'll be honest, uh, felt really good. Very good combination, DHEA. I've also made videos on that as well. Very good, a precursor to testosterone. So it just felt awesome. You know, I'm not gonna lie that uh, the feeling of the, the two compounds was great. But um, RAD 140 on itself, by itself, a very good feeling. Um, was in a good mood. Like I said, sex drive good, strength good, very good muscle gains. Uh, didn't add any kind of water weight, felt very lean. Um, I did notice my back break out a little bit, but that's when I introduced the DHEA. I don't know if that had anything to do with it or if the RAD140 would have made, made me break out later on all on its own. So uh, now to kind of answer the final question, because I don't want to make this video too long for, for your guys' sake, uh, would I ever take RAD140 again? As good of a compound as it is, probably not. Uh, only reason being is because I don't really want to abuse the intake of uh, these compounds, being that we don't know the long-term effects of um, SARMs in the human body. So we don't know exactly what's going to happen in the future from taking SARMs. SARMs really haven't been around long enough for us to know what's going to happen 20, 30, 40 years later after you've taken SARMs. But we do know the results of taking testosterone long-term, DECA, D-ball, TREN. We do know what happens later on in the later years of life. So I just don't think there's enough background research or knowledge uh, to know what will happen later. And I've already dabbled with it. I've already tried it. I know how good it is, but I don't want to end up being 60 years old and grow a third eyeball. So probably not, you know, uh, would I? Who knows but probably as of right now my mind and my decision stays as no so i hope this video was a little bit insightful i hope you guys got a little entertained i hope i didn't speak too fast if i did feel free to rewind this video and go back to any time where you guys feel like you want to re-listen to something and get a little bit of info on rad 140. i love you guys make sure to click that subscribe button help this channel out and we're gonna roll that freaking outro video you heard me it's jersey flex Boom! No!